Hello again, year one. Hope you're doing all okay at home. Hope you've been getting on with all of your work for your teachers while you've been at home. Final week before half term, we've got a bit of fun to have this week. Not that every week isn't fun, but this week we've got a few challenges and a few races we're going to do. We're going to do some relay races and we're going to go for a bit of a hunt as well around the house. We're going to try to spell out a word if we go and try to find some objects around the house. Um, that's the plan for today. Over the last few weeks, we've been doing lots and lots about coordination. Um, hopefully we know what coordination is now, our eyes telling our bodies what to do, how and when to do something. And um, we're gonna finish that off now. And then after you come back after half term, I'm gonna do another couple of videos um, on a new skill. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys will be back in school and we can start to do some more things once we're in school. Soon we've got to get ready for our sports day. It won't be long before we're getting ready for sports day. So. Fingers crossed you're back in school nice and soon. Um, but like I said, bit of fun for today. Um, hopefully last week you enjoyed our Guitar Hero warm up because that's what we're doing again today. And I've actually got it loaded on the screen here. So I'm gonna press play and talk through what you're gonna do. It's a really, really good song. It's called Jump. Um, it's gonna get yourselves, it's gonna get your bodies ready to do some exercises, do some working out, get that heart beating. Um, and it's a good tune to listen to as well. So I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna hit play so you can can hear it and um, see how it works but the link for this um, has been sent to your teachers so they will upload it so come out of this video click on the warm-up game link and this is the game that you have remember for this game you're going to need to get some colors we're going to see what colors we need when it starts on the screen then you just need to put your colors down in front of you and you need to jump to whichever color um, flashes up on the screen but let's turn the lights off and have a look at this guitar hero so here we go lights are off Hopefully you can see that screen nice and clear. I'm just gonna go and press play. Here's how to play. Okay, so there's Place this the spot in this order facing the screen. When you're done, stand behind. So as you can see, there are the colors on the screen there. You need green, you need red, yellow, blue, and orange okay so go and find them kind of things i think you used all them colors last week have a look around the house and um, see what you can find something that's green something that's red something that's yellow something that's blue and something that's orange and line them all up in a row right let me go and press play again and the spots Okay, the song's just getting ready to start. When you see a color get to the bottom, step on that color. If you see a line, balance on that color the whole time. So if it's a long line rather than just a color, you need to balance on one leg because you're going to hold that beat, okay? Get Here ready to play. It's getting ready. This is the tune. So there's your colours, green at the bottom, then red, then yellow, then blue, then orange. Oh, this is the wrong one. Let me go and press the right one. this order facing the screen. When you're done, stand behind the spots. Sorry, that was the wrong song. This is the right song. That was last week's song, but this is this week's song. It's called Jump. The colors are the same though. Green, red, yellow, blue, and then orange, okay? So this time, green, when red, yellow, color, blue, bottom, and orange. Step on that color. Good. If you see a line, Balance Remember, on balance on the lines. If the line's up, if it's a long line, you need to hold a balance, one-legged balance. Yeah, here we go, it's getting ready to Get start. Ready to play. So here we go, it's loading up, we can see the colours there. So it's yellow, blue, red, red, yellow, balance, blue, yellow, yellow, red, green. Yellow, blue, red, red, yellow, balance, blue, yellow, yellow, red, green. And that's how it works, okay? So give it a try. Pause this video now, click on the YouTube link, and this is what you're gonna play. All the colors will be on the YouTube link as well, okay? So you've gotta set them out, green, red, yellow, blue, orange. 
and then you hit the colors as when the colors flash up on the screen at the bottom there. Look, yellow, red, green, yellow, blue, red, red. You'll get it, you'll know how it works, okay? Good luck with that. Go and pause this video, go and play that one. Good luck with your warm up, enjoy. Right, I'm gonna go and turn this off now. Okay, I had to let it play in there for a bit. We love that tune. Um, so, that's the warm up. Hopefully you've gone away and you've come back after you're doing your warm up now and your heart's beating nice and quickly. You're feeling a bit warm and you're ready to go with our challenges for today. Now, I'm just gonna turn, actually we don't need to turn the lights on. I think you'll be able to see. So, a couple of races we're gonna do. We are gonna do something called a penguin race, okay? And for this, you need five of your cuddly toys again, or five objects. Let's have a look what I've got. I've got a little sheep. I've got Bella the dog. I've got a tiger. And then I've got, oh, one of my famous toilet rolls. And then lastly, a little tennis ball, okay? So five different objects, some are bigger than others. It doesn't matter, it's only five different objects. And we're gonna do a penguin race, okay? And what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna walk like a penguin. So, these cuddly toys, you need to put in between your legs. Hopefully you can see me like this. And you could do this against somebody if you want. You could do this against your brother or sister. And the idea is, let me show you this. The idea is that you've got a bucket or something that you can drop the soft toys off into, okay? Or the objects into. So I'm gonna take my objects. Got my five objects. I know it's difficult for you guys to be able to see, but here's my bucket. My bucket is on the floor there. And then I'm gonna stack back over here with my five objects, put them on the floor, and then I have to see how quickly I can drop the objects off in the bucket. So I'm gonna start, let's start with Bella the dog. So Bella the dog, here she is, give me in between my legs. I've gotta go as quickly as I can, drop her off into the bucket, that's one. I then run back. Let's go for the toilet roll next, here's the toilet roll. Gonna run down like a penguin as quickly as I can, quickly as I can. Two, run back. Next up the tiger, between my leg. Here I go, run, 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 run. Drop it up in the bucket, drop off. Two more left. Time for the sheep, in between my legs. Here I go, here I go, here I go, get in the bucket. Drop it off, oh, make sure you get in there. Last one, this is gonna be tricky, this is the ball. Here we go, the ball between my legs. Running, running, oh, it's really hard to get the ball, running like a penguin. Drop it off and done, okay? You might want to do it over a much longer distance, okay? I was only going from the screen just up to where my bucket is here, but you might want to do it over a much longer distance. And if you have got your brother or sister or anybody there with you, give them a race, give them five objects as well, two buckets, run up to your bucket, drop the objects off, then run back and get the next one. I reckon about five objects is good. Do it a couple of times, do it two or three times. See if you can get faster or see if you can beat the person that you're racing. So that's the first challenge. That is our penguin race, okay? A penguin walking race or running, penguin running race really because we're trying to go as quickly as we can. So give that a little go. The next one, next challenge we're gonna do, oh yes, the spoon relay, okay? Now this is a little bit like um, the event that we can do at Sports Day, so the egg and spoon race, okay? I am gonna do it with a tennis racket today and a ball. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as you've got something, it can be a spoon balancing a, a tennis ball on top, or it could be a racket, or it could be a cone. The idea is you're just balancing something on top or something, you've gotta keep it balanced while we're racing. So. Here is my tennis racket. Here is my ball, okay? Now, um, you want five objects again, okay? So five balls, or you could even use the same five toys as we used before, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do five objects, and this time, we're balancing them on a racket, or if it's a spoon, balancing them on a spoon, okay? So, oh, drop my ball. So, here we go. Let's empty my bucket out. And I've got five balls which I'm going to take to the start so 
this time, here's my buckets again, left on here. So this time, I've got my rackets, okay? And this time, can I balance the ball on top? Can I go as quickly as I can? Drop it off in the bucket, one, run back. Back on top, run as fast as I can, drop it in the bucket, two. Here I go, as fast as I can. Get the ball, run, 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 drop it off in the bucket, three. Back I go, get another ball, put it on top. Run, 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 run. In the bucket, four, last one. So that's a relay race, gotta keep going backwards and forwards. Run, run, run. And drop it in the bucket, okay? Give that a go, again. Do it against somebody if you can. Have a race against somebody. Or see if you can beat your time. So maybe get a stopwatch, start and stop the stopwatch. See how quickly you can get five balls from one end, balancing on top into a bucket or into a saucepan, whatever it is you've got up the other end, okay? See how quickly you can do it. So that's event number two. Give that a try. So we've got the penguin relay and we've got the, the balancing relay as well where we're balancing something on top of a racket. It's quite good for our coordination because our eyes need to watch that object on top, making sure it doesn't wobble and fall off. Give that a try. So, event number two. Like I always say, if you want to, you want to do these, and then pause it and then come back to the video, that's fine, okay? You don't have to watch this video all the way through. Pause it, give that race a go, and then come back to the video if that's easier. So, that's the spoon relay. Ah, oh, next one. This is a good one, okay? We're gonna do a milk jug relay, okay? So you have to see, you might not be able to do this today because you might not have enough milk cartons, um, but w once you see your mums or dads using up the milk, you need to say to them, can I have your milk carton, please? And you're gonna fill them up. And the idea is they're quite heavy, okay? So you're gonna get their milk cartons, you've gotta go up to one end, round, back up with the milk carton. And you're gonna see if by holding their milk cartons full of water, you're gonna see if you can do 10 laps, okay? So it might be 10, 10 um, to the buckets and back, or it might be 10 laps around the garden. But the idea is, can we keep them, can we keep our arms nice and strong, holding on to the milk jugs, okay? So give that a go. Again, might have a race, you might have a race to see who can hold on to the milk jugs and who can run, but don't drop them, because if you drop them, you might end up with water all over the place. And probably, don't do it with milk either, okay? Make sure they're empty milk cartons which you filled up with water because it's not great if you spill milk all over the floor. So give that a try. So that's a relay, but having a bit of, it's a relay race, but having a bit of weight that we have to carry as well. So that's event number three, the milk jug relay. Give it a try. Two milk jugs are needed for that. Okay. And the last one, oh, sorry, not the last one, the fourth one, we're going to do five. The fourth challenge that you're going to do is, um, we did something a bit similar to this a few weeks ago. What you need for this is you either need 10 tennis balls or you need 10 socks rolled up. So you know how you can put two socks together and make them into a ball? You need 10 balls of socks or 10 tennis balls, okay? And we're going to see how many tennis balls or socks we can get into a bucket um, out of 10. So we're going to see how many we can get into the bucket out of 10 shots. And we're gonna see, we're gonna do it three times and see if we can improve on our score each time. So, I've got my bucket here still. I've got some more tennis balls down this end. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's my 10 balls. And then I can put my Bucket a few steps away, maybe about five steps away, and I'm going to see out of these 10 tennis balls or these 10 balls of socks, how many can I get in my bucket? So here I go. Oh, that's a miss. And again, I'm just doing an underarm throw because you've got a bit more accuracy with an underarm throw. And again, oh no, missed again. That's two. Oh no, three. Haven't got one in yet. Four, still firing them too short. Come on, a little bit further. Four, five, yes! First one in, one in on five. Four, still only one in, that's six balls thrown. Seven, oh no, around the rim. Eight, oh this is no good at all. Eight, nine, yes! That's two, two in nine. Last one, here we go. Ah. Oh. Two in ten. Right, needs to collect them balls up as quickly as I can. So like I said, you can have at least three go. So I've got to beat two. So okay, three, four, five, 
six, seven, seven, eight, nine, and one more over here. Ten. Right, I've got my ten balls back. The first go, I managed to get two out of ten in. Let's see if I can beat two. Come on. I was throwing it a bit short the first time, I think. So hopefully now I know, got my range a bit better. Let's see if I can get more than two. Here we go, the pressure's off. Oh, miss again. Come on, got to beat two. Yes, one. That's one in three. Whoa, two in four, that's better. Yes, three in five. Oh, missed. Three and six. Four and seven. Oh, four and eight. Four and nine. Oh, it went in and come out. Surely that counts. Oh, maybe not, it did come out. Okay, that was four out of 10. That's two better than I did last time. That's double, I say, if I can double that score again, that means next time I'll get eight. Let's see if I can do it. Last go, right, let's collect the tennis balls up. I've got four in there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right, final go. Here we go, here's my tech, last go. Right, four to beat, come on. One, ah, oh, it's a miss. Two, miss again. Three, oh no, I've missed three already. Don't rush, four. Oh, I've not got one in yet. Five, no. Six. Oh, no, I've got to get everyone in to beat my last score. Seven, oh. Eight, oh, I keep hitting the rim. Nine. One, that's all, one. Oh dear, I didn't improve my score, it got worse, I only got one that time. Looks like I need to do a bit more practicing, so give that a go. Start at a close distance, move further away, see if you can get all 10 in, see how far back you can get with guessing 10 in, okay? The more you practice, the better you will guess it. So to give it a try, pause the video, give it a try, see how many balls or whatever you're using you can get into your bucket, how many socks you can get into your bucket and see how far back you can go. Try using your other hand, maybe you're using your right hand, but maybe you'll be best using your left hand. Give it a go. And remember, if you're a long way away, you might need to try an overarm throw. If you're a bit closer, an underarm throw would be better, okay? But give it a try, the sock bucket challenge or the tennis ball challenge. Right, we've got one last challenge to do, okay? And this is the big one. This is going to be a five minute challenge to go and spell a word by doing a scavenger hunt around your house, okay? So, the word we are trying to spell is Bevendine. B, E, V, E, N, D, E, A, N. That's nine letters. Bevendine, okay? The idea is you run off. You try to find something that begins with the first letter. The first letter is B. You bring it back to a point. So wherever you started, you've got to bring that B object back to the point. So it might be a ball. So I bring a ball back. That might be easy. Then I need to go off and find something that begins with E. Might be a bit trickier. Maybe I could go and find a, an egg somewhere or an envelope or, well, I don't know. I don't want to give you too many clues. But you've got to find something that begins with E. Go off. Bring it back. You're then going to find something that begins with V. So that that could be even trickier. Oh wow, what could that be? You've got to have a you've got to have a thing. Something maybe you've got a toy van or something like that. You're going to have to find something that begins with V. Then something that begins with E again, and so on and so on and so on. Spelling Bevendine, okay? 
What might be best to do is on a piece of paper, write down Bev and Dean first. Then when you come back with your object, you can look what letter you're going to find next. Okay, that might be the easiest thing. Maybe get mum or dad or brother or sister or you give it a go. Try to write Bev and Dean on a piece of paper and that's what you're trying to do. But you're trying to do it in five minutes. So I'm going to give this a go myself. I don't know how far I'm going to get because I've only got the haul. Um, but let's see how many objects I can find. Right, so I'm going to go and set a timer. delicious coconut milk. Who needs cows for a smoothie? Great taste from trees. Cocoa now how? Gorgeous letterbox flowers with free delivery at Serenata Flowers. Okay, so that's my five minute timer. I'm already a second in. So that's my five minute timer. I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna to try to find my objects to spell Bev and Dean. Fingers crossed that I can do it. I've got my mask as well, just in case I need to run out of the hall anywhere. Right, here I go. I'm gonna start in three, in two. I'm gonna hit the button in one. Let's go. So, first object, B, ball. Next one, F, 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 F. Oh no, I've got something. Equipment. Eh, eh, equipment. Right. Mm. This is so difficult trying to find something that begins with vroom. I haven't got anything. I hope you can find something better than me.
had to leave the room. I got a vase. Right, the eh, the eh, another eh. Oh no, another eh. This is Edward! Edward the Teddy! Eh, eh, Edward! Right, b, eh, b, eh, mm. So we use it, mm. Time up, let me stop the timer. Great. I only got something that began with but I got a ball and then um eh, what did I get for eh? I got one eh, didn't I? I got um oh, oh well, equipment, that was it. I could only think of equipment. I then got a vase and then I had to get another eh. I couldn't think of anything else. Hopefully in your houses you've got a bit more stuff that you can find. I haven't got very much in the hall really. Um, so maybe you've got a bit more that you can find in your houses, okay? See how far you can get. See if you can spell out Bev and Dean. Give it a try, it's just a bit of fun, okay? That is to finish our events for today. Um, hope you've enjoyed our five events. To finish off with, I'm gonna put one of them challenges like we did the ninjas last week, but this week we're gonna have a shark one, okay? So I'm gonna send that across in a separate link for your cool down game. But I hope you've enjoyed everything that we've done over the last few weeks. It's been sad not seeing you guys in school, but hopefully we will see you soon, okay? I'm going to do another video for after half term that you can join in and learning the new skill, moving away from coordination into something else, okay? But I'm going to do that for after half term. Have a wonderful half term. Be safe, be good, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.